Hibernia is the classical Latin name for the island of Ireland. The name Hibernia was taken from Greek geographical accounts. During his exploration of northwest Europe, Pytors of Massilia called the island Ia copyright RNA. In his book Geographia, Claudius Ptolemaeus called the island Iona. The Roman historian Tacitus, in his book Agricola, uses the name Hibernia. The Romans also sometimes used Scotia, land of the Scoti, as a geographical term for Ireland in general, as well as just the part inhabited by those people. I am registered trademark III one half I to the first I plus or minus Arana was a Greek rendering of the Q Celtic name Awaria from which eventually arose the Irish names of Permelu and of Permelia. The original meaning of the name is thought to be abundant land. Post Roman usage, the High King Brian Brew based his title on being Emperor of the Irish people, which was in Latin, Imperatus Scotorum, as distinct from claiming to be Emperor of the Island of Ireland. From 1172 the Lordship of Ireland gave the King of England the additional title Dominus Hiberni, Lord of Ireland. The Kingdom of Ireland created the title Rex Hibernau, King of Ireland, for use in Latin texts. Gerard Mercator called Ireland Hibernia on his world map of 1541. In 1642 the motto of the Irish Confederates, a Catholic landlord administration that ruled much of Ireland until 1650 was, Pro Deo, Rege Patria, Hibernia Unanimes. However, unlike many Roman geographical names, the Latin Hibernia did not become the basis for the name for Ireland in any modern languages, with even Italian using Islander. Apart from the Celtic languages, all modern languages use a local variant of the English island. This is presumably because direct medieval contacts between Ireland and continental Europe were at too low a level to embed use of the Hibernian root or the original Irish Apermelia, in local vernaculars. This contrasts with Wales, which is still pays de Gauls in French, with similar terms in other Romance languages. By the classicizing 18th century the use of Hibernia had revived in some contexts, just as had the use of Caledonia, one of the Latin terms for Scotland, and Britannia for Britain. Hibernia was used on Irish coins and companies such the Hibernian Insurance Company were established. The name took on popularity with the success of the Irish Patriot Party. At a time when Palladian classical architecture and design were being adopted in Northern Europe, Hibernia was a useful word to describe Ireland with overtones of classical style and civility, particularly by the prosperous Anglo-Irish ascendancy who were taught Latin at school. Hibernian was used as a term for people, and a general adjective. The Royal Exchange in Dublin was built in 1769 a Euro 79 with the carved inscription SPQH for Senatus Populus K Hibernicus a Euro the Senate and People of Ireland. The Royal Hibernian Academy dates from 1823. Hibernia is a word that is rarely used today with regard to Ireland, except in long established names. It is occasionally used for names of organizations and various other things. For instance, Hibernian National Bank, Hibernian Insurance Group, Ancient Order of Hibernians, The Hibernian Magazine, Hibernia College, Hibernian Football Club, HMS Hibernia, and modern derivatives, from Latin like Res Publica Hibernica and Universitas Hibernia Nationalis. In Canada, Hibernia lends its name to the Hibernia oil field off Newfoundland, and to a large sea oil platform there, the Hibernia. Another occurrence is in familial Hibernian fever or traps, a periodic fever first described in 1982 in a family of Irish and Scottish descent, but found in all ethnic groups. The compound form Hiberno remains more common, as in Hiberno Norse, Hiberno English, Hiberno Scottish, Hibernophile, etc. See also, Hiberno Roman relations, Hibernophile, Drew Manor. Notes